Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve question number 17 in the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Killer Shell Exam Simulator. This is a question 17 and I'll copy this command to switch to the right context. And now the question says in the namespace project dash tiger create a pod named tigers dash reunite of image httpd colon 2.4.41 dash alpine with the labels pods equal to container and container equals pod find out on which node the pod is scheduled and ssh in uh, that node and uh, find the container the container belonging to that part so the given the commands like you know you have to use the critical command and we have to write the id of the container and the info.runtime into this file and second option write the logs of the container into the given file <coughs> Now let's um, try to solve this bit. So we have to create a pod um, in the namespace project dash tiger, and the pod name should be tigers dash reunite. And the image that we are going to use is this one. And we have to give the labels as pod equals container and we can give multiple labels by um, separating them with a comma so i'll copy the second label which is container equal to pod and let us now do the dry run it does have both the labels uh, pod Pod name is Tigers Reunited. Does use the image that we are looking for. It looks good. Um, so let us now remove the dry run and execute the command. So the pod is created. Let's get the pods um, in the project Tiger namespace, and the pod name is um, Tigers Reunite. So pod is in a running state. So now we have to see which uh, node the pod is scheduled. So we'll um, use the dash o space wide. And we see it is uh, running on cluster one dash worker two node. So this is completed. So let's try to solve this. So they say first write the ID of the container and the info.runtime into this file. So in this terminal, let's open a file. And in the other terminal, let us try and connect to the cluster one worker two, because if we are trying to um, check the details and uh, until the containers i mean up to the containers then we have to um, connect to the node and use a critical command first one write the id of the container okay let's see critical ps will give the list of uh, uh, containers that is running here so there are a lot of them, but um, our interest is um, tigers dash reunite. Let me do that. Nuclear screen. So it is there. The running status, which is about a minute ago, and this is uh, the container ID. So we'll copy this. We'll paste it in the other terminal where they're expecting this to be written. So this is the container ID. And the info, info.runtime, we have to give there. So um, so where 
can get the info at runtime if if we can use the same critical command to inspect inspect um, this container ID it should give some details uh, details about the container and our interest is info dot runtime let's grab for it um, or let us simply just search for runtime runtime type yep uh, let us also say before file ends and after file lines just to see it is under the info which is info dot runtime type yes it is a child of info and this is the runtime type which is uh, v2 we'll copy this and write to this file so that's the part one of uh, question 17 let's try and validate if it has the information that we just passed on it does so part one is done let us focus on the part two so it says write the logs of the container into uh, this file um, so we can do it in two ways one uh, since we have connected to the cluster or uh, the node the worker node already um, we can use um, the same cricket command um, a sub command we have to use logs and followed by the container id it will give the logs so it is hardly a couple of lines which we can simply copy paste otherwise um, otherwise you can use hsh uh, if you want to do it from the the, the main terminal uh, where you're working on um, you can use this one so ssh into cluster one dash worker worker two and uh, we have to execute the command uh, cricket logs let's execute this so we are able to get this bit of information on the main terminal uh, what we can do is we can say ampersand greater than so this is the standard uh, terminal uh, redirection so it redirects basically the error as well as uh, the output of this command and we want this to be written to the given file uh, it's done so let us open the file to see if it holds the log it does so we have now solved the question 17 so that's it for this question Thank you for your time.